Welcome to beautiful Rwanda in the centre of Africa, a country you wouldn't believe is at the forefront of disruptive technology. But Finn brings to you an insight into the company Zipline. The Californian startup launched operations at Mahanga three years ago as the world's first commercial regular drone delivery service. Each day, some 150 drones drop by parachute urgent medicines and blood to 19 hospitals in the remote, hilly, rural countryside. As Zipline's Dan Zawonka explains, this would not be possible without a partnership with the Rwandan government. So Rwanda was our first partner because we were looking for someone who had the same kinds of problems that we were trying to solve um, that our co-founders noticed like in many places in Africa. And um, we also needed someone who was willing to provide a regulatory framework that would allow us to fly um, nationwide. Um, and also we needed someone who was willing to be a customer and partner with us to try this new service, right? And so Rwanda is a very forward thinking and um, tech savvy country in Africa. They're sort of a tech leader now and they were the first to jump on it. So we work very closely with the CAA um, and also the Ministry of Health, um, National Center for Blood Transfusion, um, it, and it's very much a partnership. As the 1.75 kilogram payload is loaded, Zipline is in touch with air traffic control to get permission to launch, and using ADSB technology, the drones are tracked as they fly through the Rwandan skies. So far, they have flown more than a million hours without incident. Other African countries are watching the solution with interest, and now Ghana is also to benefit from the Zipline service. Ghana is going to be our first country in West Africa to, um, to start using Zipline service. And we started construction a few months ago, and we're, gonna, uh, we're planning to be launching uh, around mid-April this year. And we'll be delivering, I think, about 180 to 200 essential medicines and medical products. After dropping their cargo, the drones return to base, where they are captured and reloaded for their next mission. Dan hopes more people will learn about the benefits drones can bring. You know, it's interesting, about five years ago, when we sort of started down this path, the word drone had a really negative connotation. And even for myself, you know, it's like you hear drone in a newspaper and it's kind of like a scare story, you know, drone, it's a, you think you know, it's gonna drop bombs or it's gonna spy on you or something. And it's really important for us to change that perception of the word drone and to show people that drones can be used for very many good things, um, including delivering life-saving medical supplies just in time. The biggest barrier to this life-saving technology has been regulation as the unmanned aircraft go beyond the line of sight. But according to Zipline COO Will Hetzler, it was partnership again that made this work. The, the Rwandan Civil Aviation Authority has had uh, a very progressive approach to the technology and is able to uh, pioneer, I think, uh, uh, an excellent performance-based drone regulate, regulatory model for the rest of the world.